this is uh, Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the afternoon sessions. Uh, and before that, before we start, I have a small announcement to make. Those who have missed your English proficiency test can take your test on Saturday between 10 and 11 a.m. The details are communicated to your mails already. Kindly check. I repeat, those who have missed your English proficiency test and take your test on Saturday between 10 and 11 a.m. The details are communicated to your mails already. Kindly check. Now we'll begin with the session. Keep going. Everything you need will come to you at the perfect time. And that is what all I, would, I could say about campus life at VIT. Now, I would like to welcome Dr. R. Bhatpanabhan, Director, Students Welfare VIT Kenai, to talk about life on campus. We welcome you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, thank you very much for the introduction. Uh, dear students, uh, first I welcome you all uh, to VIT Chennai. Uh, I know uh, this is uh, supposed to be a grand uh, welcome uh, affair with uh, so many activities on campus. Uh, unfortunately, we are sitting at uh, home uh, listening to uh, the resource person. Uh, anyway, I will uh, make uh, my presentation short and uh, explain you what uh, uh, the Student Welfare Office is engaged uh, and uh, how the students are facilitated with various uh, activities on campus and off campus. Okay, uh, this is uh, Padmanabhan from uh, Student Welfare Office and uh, the vision of uh, our office is to provide social support and create an ambience for the students to contribute to the society by catering to socially relevant needs. And the mission is to promote cooperation among yourself, fellowship uh, on campus. Channelize your youthful energy because you have uh, so much of energy to exhibit. So this energy is going to be used to create uh, many uh, um, uh, developments and uh, organized programs and other activities which result in the overall development for the national unity and social harmony. So this is our mission from the Students' Welfare Office. How we support? Uh, we have uh, so, so many arms uh, from the within the Students' Welfare Office and uh, we have uh, the Prime uh, Student Council uh, who are the representatives of the students. Then uh, we operate through the clubs and chapters. Uh, we do ex extension activities and then uh, provide the campus amenities for the welfare of the students and then enhance their uh, you know, living uh, ambience. And we also take care of the health and insurance, provide scholarships if needed, and mainly uh, the proctor scheme uh, and other support related to academics as well. Okay? So these are the arms of the uh, Office of the uh, Students' Welfare. These are the officers. Uh, I report to the Pro Vice Chancellor. And uh, we have uh, four other uh, officers, uh, Dr. Rina Monica, Dr. Luke Gerard Christie, Dr. Milan Srinivas, and Dr. Nyan Swatika. Individually, they are delegated with uh, uh, their own domain of operation, uh, like health, cent health, uh, health center and health uh, status of the students, higher education and organizing the events, hostels and discipline sports on the campus, as well as proctor and uh, day scholars. Uh, so we have uh, separate domains for each of the officers. And we have a secretary, uh, Ms. Nitebriya, and uh, mainly uh, the student counselors. So we have a professor, uh, Dr. R. Ma Maya, who, who is a student counselor, and Mrs. Bhavaneshwari is a professional trained stu uh, counselor. And uh, I will throw some light on these uh, a little later. Student council, the prime part of our uh, of our student self office. We take students from uh, the students' representatives uh, uh, from um, among uh, 72 programs. And these are the student uh, council members from different schools for the last year. So this year we are at to select the uh, council. And the student council, which forms the bridge between the authorities and the students, are engaged heavily on these four activities, right? University events, quality assurance, program uh, representatives, and uh, any developments in the program within the school, and participation in various committees, including hostel, mess, campus development, library, and so on and so forth. And finally, sports and cultural activities. So they, in addition to the support from Student Welfare Office, organize various uh, events and activities in different grades. 
and uh, very recently uh, even being in the pandemic we gave a farewell to uh, 2021 graduating batch uh, what on the right side uh, we have our chancellor and uh, the student council members themselves organized everything and we also gave a, a hoodie as a souvenir and these are the gifts from the uh, event apart from this we uh, have uh, four different uh, ways of classifying these events on campus mega events usually uh, very large scale happening for two or three days and then national and international uh, days of importance usually governed uh, issued by the government of india and then regional fest festivals as you know uh, we have students across india so we celebrate almost every festival from every culture and every region and in addition to that we also provide extension uh, you know support for uh, the nearby villages and communities for their development okay so ultimately the students are uh, meant to hone their skills add value for their overall development so that's the objective of organizing these events so the events and welfare programs for the benefit of the student committee community right uh, as far as the extra curricular and co curricular uh, activities uh, we organize through various uh, platforms uh, the first and foremost uh, is the special team platform where uh, the teams are uh, uh, built based on their uh, expertise like uh, automotive automobile or aerospace or uh, especially for form formula or electric drone rovers you uh, know robotics like this we have 11 special teams i'll show a glimpse of this a little later and then uh, we continuously uh, uh, invite applications from the students for proposing new clubs because uh, we have more than 100 clubs right now uh, uh, this year sorry uh, we will be floating few more clubs uh, and this is amount this is amounting to around 104 of which 72 are offering as a non credit course and the remaining are uh, voluntary uh, uh, clubs and we encourage students to come out with uh, newer clubs because you name it we have uh, the club so whatever interests you we have uh, some way or the other to support as far as uh, the sports infrastructure uh, we have huge uh, Uh, areas uh, covering ex 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 external uh, uh, sports arena as well as ind indoors uh, sports uh, facilities also so these are some of the sports facilities listed uh, picturized at the background uh, you see the uh, administrative block we have tennis uh, hockey basketball two of them and uh, track and field and uh, very recently uh, we have uh, an indoor uh, stadium actually it's a auditorium Uh, multi-purpose auditorium it's called a gymnatorium because it has a gymnasium as well as auditorium uh, which can seat uh, 2500 uh, uh, persons so what you see here on the left side uh, top is uh, the auditorium and at the center at the plaza you have uh, bat court for badminton and uh, basketball court but beside behind uh, this uh, the uh, stage uh, we have working space for uh, indoor uh, games okay and at the bottom uh, you see a squash court which is located in a Gym Kana. Gym Kana is another building just beside the academic block, uh, where we have a canteen, Domino's, uh, and then tea shop, and uh, all these uh, air-conditioned facilities, including the squash court, billiards, snooker, all these uh, facilities, including wall climbing. So we have this in the Gym Kana. So that's uh, regarding the sports uh, infrastructure. So basically, the students' activities are split into a number of uh, domains. Uh, NSS and NCC we have already heard in the morning. Special teams. I'll draw a little light a little later, and then clubs and chapters. Right. The special teams are very important for us because around 20 to 30 students of a similar interest get together and then go to a different grade, you know, in a different stage. They elevate their level to a different stage by producing a car, which is of course not street legal but competition ready. So they take part in many competition. See what you see here are all built in campus, VIT Chennai campus. Uh, we build, we have garages, and uh, we build uh, these cars. Students work overnight, you know, 24 bar 7. We provide facilities, building equipment, and uh, you know, chips or motherboard, whatever they need, we provide. But uh, mainly they they buy on their own, and then they build build all these uh, uh, you know little things, and uh, they also get a sponsorship. So that's why it is uh, called special teams, all right? So we have road runners, show racing, zero uh, formula racing. These are all uh, ATV and uh, racing uh, teams, including Team Saksham. And then uh, we have robotic teams uh, which build uh, robots and other uh, you know gadgets. This is the facility uh, we are coming up uh, shortly in about a month or two. We will throw this open uh, two floors, and of course it's only a part depending on the number of uh, teams we have. Uh, we have uh, categorized into larger teams that go in the high bay and uh, robotics and uh, smaller uh, technocrats velocity raptors you know they develop drones so they, they go in the first floor the other half is actually meant for two companies which are going to uh, you know uh, build uh, uh, components 
like uh, 3d printing and uh, uh, air conditioning and uh, heating so we provide common uh, tools and equipments they also have specialized tools which they buy from the sponsorship money they get and uh, some of, most of them also uh, provide money from their own pocket and then uh, these are accessible for uh, 24 bar 7 and safety and security is our priority as far as mega events are concerned, uh, it happens, you know, uh, VAT, if you are there on campus, you will see almost every day you will have an event, you know, be it a club event or a, a society event, a professional chapters event or national day importance and uh, other events. Okay, so uh, mega events, we have Vibrance, which is a cultural event and uh, some of the pictures, pictures are given here and uh, technical event is, a, is called Technovid. Right. In Vellore, uh, this is called uh, Gravitas and the cultural uh, event is called Rivera. Similarly, here we have Vibrance and Technovit. Right. These are uh, some pictures uh, that depict uh, the days of national importance. Students are really uh, engaged when they are on campus and uh, other than the class hours. Extension activities are very important for us. The, our students will not stop doing and developing the, only themselves. Uh, they are given opportunity. They go outside, you know, go walk an extra mile to develop the society around. So these are some of the extension activities. Uh, usually they go to the nearby schools, you know, Adi Dravada schools or uh, government schools where uh, there are limited uh, teachers. So they go and teach the students on uh, computers, uh, programming or Word using Microsoft Office like this. They they come up with uh, newer ideas and uh, contact, uh, you know, be with the students and develop their uh, knowledge base. And apart from that, they also go for cleaning, health checkup uh, and uh, training the underprivileged women, developing the village like this. We have so many extension activities. These are given here. And the students are given opportunity to progress uh, on academic front also uh, because they'll be taking part in various uh, competitive exams at the end of uh, uh, the uh, their program. And we provide a platform to discuss among themselves like community radio or capsule, which is a magazine. So basically uh, we serve as a bridge Right to be uh, to keep the students happy and develop uh, life skills. Okay. Yeah, Proctor scheme is uh, very important to us because uh, uh, you are leaving your home and coming to us. Uh, and most of our students are uh, put up in the magnificent, magnificent structures, you know, uh, hostel buildings. Around 80% of the students stay on campus, so you will be missing your uh, parent for guidance. So we have a faculty, uh, you know, allotted exclusively for you. So every faculty will have around 20 to 30 students as their, uh, you know, properties, so that any uh, thing that bothers or any development you need, any uh, guidance you need, you can uh, seek from them. I think you have gone through this procedure yesterday. And uh, Proctor, your Proctor, the faculty member, is the only point con point of contact on campus. And then you have deans, school uh, head of the departments. And if it is a social issue, you can always visit uh, or email us uh, at uh, chennai.directorswat.ac.in, which is available on the website. Okay, and uh, I'm going to quickly uh, go through the student's achievements. Why I, uh, I emphasize this? Because we provide a teen number of platforms for the students in Excel, uh, both in sports, uh, in knowledge, and uh, you know uh, other uh, um, you know activities like hackathon and so on and so forth. So you have uh, one of them winning the bronze medal in the World Beach Shuttlecock, and uh, chess chess is a ch Madhavan Mahadevan is the chess champion. And very recently, our team guided by uh, Dr. Suganya, uh, you know, um, the students uh, sat with uh, our uh, honourable Prime Minister Sri Modi ji. And uh, the first team to discuss uh, uh, with uh, the Prime Minister out of seven teams. Likewise, we have several other, uh, you know, uh, college special teams. You see here, uh, they have won uh, even uh, being at home, right? These uh, these happened online. Uh, please remember, for the past two years, they don't stop. They keep working. And one of the, our student, you know, developed a Sunny Shooter. It is available online, and it was launched by uh, Sri Devendra Fadnavis when he was, uh, um, you know, as a leader of the, he is a leader of the position, right? And uh, some other, uh, the, you know, uh, achievements. Uh, like uh, Nikhil Thomas, Madhusudan Verma, and in Smart India Hackathon, several teams, not just one team, several teams have made the uh, podium finish. And the NSS student, he spoke to you uh, this morning. So he received the certificate of appreciation like this. So these are some of the students' achievements. Why? Because Student Welfare Office provides as many as uh, facility and infrastructure for them to excel. And very recently, last week, Chatra Vishwa Karma Award was awarded to four of our students, guided by Dr. Jeev Elmati. And then uh, Technocrats Robotics, you know, this is one of the special team. It's all online. Please remember, we do not stop. Even though it's on online, we adapt to situations. So the students are so well adapted uh, to situations that they keep creating, uh, be it online or offline. Okay, so they have one fifth world over. Uh, so, and uh, the Innovation Award is also won by the Technocrat Robotics. And, uh, 
uh, another uh, team so they see microprocessor challenge they have won they have gone to the final stage it is yet to happen but already they have received rupees 5 lakhs uh, as a honor and uh, they'll be going sitting for the finals along with the 29 other teams and finally i would like to emphasize here uh, mr anubhav uh, you might be uh, using this uh, vit insider i know some of you have uh, got uh, trouble and uh, especially the ios uh, you know operating system is not uh, uh, compatible uh, we have so many limitations in spite of that this student within a week time was able to develop this uh, app and uh, make it convenient for you to go through it and more than 6000 downloads have already happened but uh, this is only a stop gap arrangement please understand uh, if you had encountered uh, any issue uh, all of these information are available on the website please check to the website frequently because we update on a daily basis right so this is one achievement from our students yeah i'll come to the main part the um, committees monitoring committees to make you feel sure about uh, the uh, stay on campus see we have so many committees uh, remember i said earlier the student council members are involved in almost every committee so i have not uh, disclosed uh, their name here so every committee on campus has a student student representation and these are some of the important committees that you should be aware why i emphasize because if something bothers you right please contact the proctor immediately right i am not saying that uh, some, something is going to bother you but if at all there is a uh, bleak chance you might uh, have some botheration be it academics or other uh, factors so contact your proctor immediately convey the message right if uh, that is over and above that you can always contact if it is more confidential you want to communicate properly confidentially you have these committees who are sitting all the day and night uh, to make uh, the students life easy and uh, you know convenient so we have put up all these things on uh, the website also with the phone number and email id internal complaints committee for women and uh, any kind of harassment right so if you think something is someone is bothering you online then you can always raise a complaint and we have emails and so these are the members who are going to immediately take it up and uh, try to uh, bring about a uh, solution or at least to protect you from any further deterioration and then anti discrimination committee is another committee which is very important because you know uh, we have we maintain it's a kind of uh, vit you know it's advanced university uh, equal opportunity university and we do not have any discrimination you know men, men women nothing like that you know everybody contributes uh, their own part and uh, depending on the cash, uh, caliber the capacity uh, they are provided with opportunities and then anti ragging we we are ragging free campus no ragging at all still we have according to ugc we have this committee headed by dr l premalata so we have a specific number for that anything can be reported and we are zero tolerant to this because once we see there is some uh, 1% 2% uh, you know chance immediately the student will be sent out so you don't need to worry about anything so with that let me complete so i am padmanabhan from student welfare office uh, my name and uh, phone numbers are available on the website and you are uh, uh, you know free to contact me for anything that bothers you outside the academics for academics you have head of the department your uh, dean and uh, other members of the faculty in the school thank you very much uh, welcome to vit again thanks thank you sir thank you for your detailed uh, thank you ma'am thank you thank you very much thanks we want to the question a code of conduct provides the people of the organization with clear standards and expectations of how to do their job now i would like to call upon dr vt shri devi professor select vit chennai to outline code of conduct for vit students Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for the introduction. I will just share my slide. Good afternoon, my dear young friends. Good afternoon, everyone. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Please unmute. Ma'am, please make it a uh, big screen. Ma'am, please go into the PPT mode. Ma'am, please unmute. Ma'am, ma'am, please unmute. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We can hear you now. Please go. Visible now. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Please go into the PPT mode, ma'am. Press F5. Okay. 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 Now you are. Ah, please go ahead. 
so just i will con uh, continue my presentation my dear young friends good afternoon everyone and my hearty congratulations for joining the vit family my task here is to make you understand the vit student code of conduct and its importance so let us begin with some introduction and then discuss about vit student code of conduct so what is a university code of conduct ma'am excuse so me ma'am sorry to interrupt uh, it has not gone full screen ma'am it is not gone full screen Ma'am, it is near the uh, Zoom button. You can click on that, and or you can even press F5 so that it goes. Ah, please. Sir. So what is the university code of conduct? So all members of the VIT university community are responsible for sustaining the high ethical standards of this institution and of the broader community in which we function. So core principles that guide the code of ethics are integrity, diversity, respect, freedom of inquiry and expression, trust, honesty, and fairness. and uh, vit students code of conduct reflects a concern for these values and tries to ensure that members of the university can make use of the activities facilities and benefits of the university without undue interference from others and uh, purpose or goals of student code of conduct is this code is a shared statement of our commitment to upholding the ethical professional and legal standards we use as the basis for our daily and long term decisions and actions so you are what you repeatedly do excellence is not an act rather a habit said by aristotle and uh, you all of you btech and mtech freshers you can go through the our website vit web website and you can see the students code of conduct in vit yes. chennai website under vit yes. excuse me i'm sorry to interrupt again it is not full screen ma'am but i press the screen no one step by ma'am you sharing and you share your screen so that it becomes visible share my screen Now is it okay? No, no, ma'am. This one is. I don't know. I have shared the screen. I pressed F5 too. Ma'am, you, you share the first screen, and you share your screen, not the PPT. You share the screen so that it goes. What really matters in a pencil is not. Ma'am, it was fine before, ma'am. You can move to your next. Uh, <coughs> yeah, continue, ma'am. Now it's fine. Uh, Shri Devi, ma'am, you have you are muted. You can unmute and then continue. Okay, so sorry for the interruption. I think I have reached here. So you are what you repeatedly do. Excellence is not an act, rather a habit. That's told by Aristotle. And the student code of conduct in VIT Chennai website it is available. So I request all the freshers to go through the VIT Chennai website. And under VITians, you can see this uh, code of conduct document. And it's a PDF document. In that everything is uh, given. And so ethics and conduct both are related together. So at the time of admission here, every student is required to sign a statement abiding by this code. and ethics is a part of our education so as academic academic integrity is another one so as an institution of scientific and technological education and research the institute values academic intellectual and ethic ethical integrity so integrity is doing the right thing even when no one is watching that's what then uh, there are some behavior concerns among the students so uh, actually there are we call it as misconduct but i don't want to name it as misconduct i say it as behavior concerns so like one example is just like habitual absence from attending classroom or lab sessions without permission or absence without permission 
So that is many things are given in the code of conduct. I ask, request each and every student to go through the code of conduct. And just I would like to tell you one, uh, how to do the positive mindset, how it promotes success. So you know this uh, famous writer, Polo Kolo, his story, pencil story. So that will give you this message. What really matters in a pencil is not its wooden exterior, but the graphite inside. So always pay attention to what is happening inside you. So it is from uh, his book, Like the Flowing River. So that's what we expect. We need a positive mindset to promote the success of the VIT University. So character is uh, our destiny. And with that, I request all of you to go through the code of conduct given in the website and understand what are the disciplinary committee and uh, what are the punishments available, all those things kindly go through that. Thank you for the patient listening. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Over. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. Now we move on to the next session. Alumni is a valuable asset to an educational institution. They are the band ambassadors. VIT has a very good alumni database. And now, I invite Dr. Anjali Gopakumar, our assistant professor, senior SCE, and convener of the VIT Chennai Institutional Chapter, to throw light on our gorgeous alumni chapter. Welcome, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am, for the introduction. I hope I'm audible to all of you. Am I? Ma'am, am I audible to all of you? Yes. Thank you. You're Thank you. Yes. yes so, uh, yeah, I can see 4,008 uh, students who have already been in live and for the past four days, it was a power packed performance, I guess, because continuously there were multiple presentations with respect to the various processes, the activities that is happening in BIT. And by the fourth day, I think all of you are at least equipped with whatever minimum requirement to join BIT because all of you have joined a very prestigious institution. You all know that. And beyond doubt, you are going to understand that from day one. Okay, so uh, you have already got to know what is actually happening around, what is the, what are the processes with respect to academics, what are the processes with respect to extracurricular activities, what are the processes that is available in VIT which you can cherish because you are a VIT. Okay, so being the last uh, session that we are going to take up, I would be talking about alumni. So as you all know, what is the importance of alumni and how is it relevant for a first year? This might be the first question that all of you ask. Okay, here comes the relevance. In VIT, we ensure that once a VITN, we are always a VITN. And we are true to this words. So what does this word mean is, you should understand once you pass out after your four years or three years course, whatever it may be that you have joined, after that, what is that the alma mater going to gain because of you? And what is that you are going to benefit because of the alma mater? That is the relationship. So as you have your parents with you, once you join in BIT, you have an extended family. And this extended family is for eternity. And that is what we call our alumni association. We have a very closely knit alumni association and you might have heard about our chancellor, sir, our beloved chancellor sir who addressed during the inaugural session where he himself said that we have almost, our alumni population has grown so bigger that we have reached almost 1 lakh. So 2020 we have around total of 96,643 alumni who are registered under VITA. So just imagine how big is the family and what do they do? They give us all sorts of experience sharing. They give us all sorts of help towards improving the curriculum, improving your syllabi, even one-to-one -one help, one-to-one -one mentoring, okay, industrial collaborations, various forms of helps are being done by them. So to start for, I mean, officially regarding what is happening in a VIT, I mean, VITA and uh, the various programs that has been coordinated by VITA, I would introduce myself. I am Dr. Anjali Gopakumar. I am from, uh, I mean, uh, School of Civil Engineering and I am the convener of the VIT institutional chapter, which is in VIT Chennai. So if you see, VITA as such, we have one single body and the headquarters of VITA is in Belor. And we have multiple institute, I mean, multiple chapters, which is domestic chapters as well as international chapters. And we have two major institutional chapters, out of which one institutional chapter is our VIT Chennai chapter. Okay, so I'll take you through a very brief tour because this will help you to understand where you can get help from at the same time after four years, what you have to do or what you will be giving to the alma mater. Because this we care and we share is what will make us all an eminent personality in the world. Okay, so let us take, take you through the tour. Just let me know if the slides are being shared and if it is in full screen. I suppose it is in full screen. Yes, so I shall continue. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. So as you know, I have put up a picture because all of you would have been much more happy if you could come physically to the campus. But unfortunately, because of the pandemic, we couldn't. But still, we are not stopping. That is the uniqueness of VIT. We are not stopping anywhere. So this picture will give you an overall view of how our campus looks. 
and this is again an uh, two year old picture recently our campus is growing bigger and bigger and better okay so when you come by the time you come to the campus you will all be all struck with what is available in the campus and what is that you are going to cherish throughout your four years or three years whatever you are spending in bit as a student okay so now we'll taking you now i'll be giving more details about what is an alumni association that we follow in bit so if you see the vita which is bit alumni association was established in the year 1996 but it was not not named as vita first vita was being christened as vec alumni association initially because our vit itself was named as vellor engineering college during its startup and then later on we rechristened it as vec club in the year 1998 and very recently that is in the year 2019 is when we have formally registered vita which is in the name of vit alumni association so as we explained before we are a very big family very big extended family and we have around 54 chapters out of which 36 are international chapters if you remember during the inaugural our chancellor has said that if you go to the us every neighboring state will have one of our relatives or one of our family members which is basically our alumni so any help any kind of mentoring that is required any kind of support that you require whenever you go out we need not bother because vita is there and then we have 18 domestic national chapters domestic or national chapters which is spread across various states of india and then the total members around 96643 alumni is there currently as per the 2020 data and uh, the chennai alumni accounts for 9584 so this is since 2014 but we will consider 2012 also because we had the mtech alumni also included the major eligibility criteria behind becoming a member of vita is procurement of a degree from vit university for any program and that is affiliated for a minimum duration of 2 years this is what is the major criteria and every year we meet so you will be wondering this bigger population of around 1 lakh how can we meet on a regular basis right that is another uniqueness of vit we make it a point that we all meet on 26th of january every year at velva campus the pandemic has caused a small change in that also because of which 2020 we couldn't meet but we made it a point 2 2021 we met virtually and it was more bigger better and the best also okay and now we have a vita portal which is given as www.vita.org we also have a mobile app so this is all for understanding once you pass out from vit what and how you are getting connected with alma mater so just a moment i suppose the slides are changing for all of you yes so now i will be talking about what are the various chapters so as i explained 54 chapters are there out of which we have 18 domestic chapters and 36 international chapters so just go through the chapter names you would be able to understand it like suppose once you finish your btech and you're going abroad for your uh, uh, i mean higher studies your college will be in either of or any of these states you need not worry we have people there that is what okay so this is what gives us a feeling that yes our family is bigger and better and we will get help throughout so this is how our vita chapters are connected globally so now we'll come to what is more important about understanding vita so what are the major alumni engagements that we do so for all the freshers what is it important is you should understand how you can extract or how you can uh, get the help from our alumni so basically in the form of knowledge sharing so as you know even for our inaugural for orientation we had requested two of our alumni to come and address to all of you right and you know how con confident and how uh, energetic they were that is one uniqueness again for our vitn okay so knowledge sharing is another major important factor where multiple interaction sessions webinars workshops training programs conferences as well as for judging co curricular activities or being a part of as a mentor for co curricular activities all kinds of help is being lented by an alumni so similarly this is what you gain from an alumni of vit similarly several industrial interfaces we get support for placement activities we get supports for setting up the industrial visits we get support for making sure that the internships are being got for the students the placements the projects setting up of industrial labs etc next major factor which do not get uh, i mean distorted is mentoring and support throughout your life you will be getting the appropriate mentoring and support be it an alumni be it your senior that is how well close knit we are in vit and with proud i will say because i myself is a i mean alumni i did my mtech from bellore and i come back i come to chennai and completed my phd also so we know that how well knit we are and how we get incoming help from all the alumni irrespective of where they are how they are and what they are doing so it's not an issue to get a help from the alumni the next is improving teaching learning process because as i said before a constant support with respect to changing the syllabi changing or modifying the curriculum improving it to the current standards with respect to the industrial needs and uh, developments this is also being important and this is what has been also rendered by alumni next is 
foreign university interfaces. So as I said, the basic support is already provided. In addition to that, the international relationship office, in, uh, they help and support the international relationship office in order to get acquainted with the MOUs, then the exchange programs, because you've already heard it from our international relations department, like how a semester abroad program is being based, etc. So for all these things, the first or the foremost support system that we verify is alumni and we render and they help us without any problem. Few of the examples, see, because talking doesn't matter, you need to see the proof, right? So these are some of the proofs. For example, we have a VIT Center of Excellence Laboratory being set up both in VIT Velour as well as in VIT Chennai in collaboration with Valio. And the Valio team whom we are being collaborated with is none other than our alumni. And we have, how do we appreciate the alumni? Because obviously alumni is contributing a lot for our benefit. So as an alma mater, how we make sure that they are appreciated appropriately is in the form of distinguished alumni awards. So as I said, every year on 26th of January, we make it a point we meet. And when we meet, People in the different, uh, I mean, uh, different sections or sectors, wherever they are established, whatever little uh, achievements that they have, they get, we share, we care, and we appreciate. So that happens on distinguished on Vita Day, and those awards are being classified as distinguished alumni. So this is how we appreciate and we make sure that they are happy, alma mater is happy. Finally, as a family, we all are happy. Now I'll take you through some of the achievements of our VIT Chennai alumni. So if you see Mr. Sandeep Vempathy, he's an alumni from Mechanical and he's a 2015 batch. So what is that he has done is he is a part or he's working as particular, I mean, a project lead in the uh, team of LVPEI of Hyderabad and he has created a 3D printing model, a prototype of the mask. So this had happened at the initial phases of your uh, I mean COVID-19 spread. So what happened? He was one of the he was one of the member in the team who brought about the uh, prototype of a mask in 3D printing within short duration of time. So that also had given uh, an appropriate achievement and an appropriate appreciation. And that is why he is also considered as one of the major alumni contributors. Then we have Madhusudan Verma. So Madhusudan Verma, again, he is also an alumni from computer science department in the year 2015-19. So what he had done is he used artificial intelligence to generate new molecules which can act as a potential drug for COVID-19. So this also, his work also was uh, mainly, a few of them are being patented in the, in the year 2020 and he's still working on to find more target molecules using artificial intelligence. So we have another uh, I mean, alumni, he's one of our oldest alumni in VIT Chennai. He's a white hat hacker and who has earned bug bounties from Facebook, Twitter and Uber. He was also featured in the Forbes under 30 category and also he was being awarded with several accolades. So it's not that we have uh, I mean, uh, technical, technically related distinguished alumni. We have people who have started companies also. For example, few of the alumni, these are some of the name of the startups that has been uh, done by our own young entrepreneurs. Okay. And VIT as entrepreneurs, if you see, we have a wide range. So our achievements do not start with just one or two. We have many. And out of the few, out of the many is what I have shown you a very few lists. So now some of the alumni achievements that I would want to share it with you is uh, just a minute yeah so we have uh, Harshita so Harshita is from 2018 batch she is being awarded as the winner in Leeds design and she is also I mean she has got the uh, Leeds project award and then we have Sharavanan from 2016 MTech structural and she is he's also been showing uh, as a winner for construction industry innovative project and we have Mohammed Shafiq. He has also been awarded the Construction Industry Innovative Project Award in the year 2018. So we have, uh, I mean, we have Danush Ram. He is also considered as an award, uh, an uh, achievement towards his most scalable startup award. So not only technical, our students are also or or have shown their contributions in many other fields. For example, our uh, oldest alumni, Mr. Rakar Sumra. He is now currently playing uh, playing for Madurai Panthers. Okay, we have another alumni uh, who has already he, he is from uh, an MTech software engineering student and he has already won uh, three gold medals and one silver medal in state level strength lifting competition 
and uh, and that was been organized by tamil nadu so we have multiple we have multiple achievements that has been uh, brought by our alumni and this is again something that we cherish a lot so all of you might be knowing about mr abhishek kumar because during the covid 19 these videos were uh, highly uh, viewed and then been shared right so mr abhishek kumar is also one of our alumni but he is from vit bellon we have hari prakash madhubalan he is from business school of vit chennai and he is currently working as the founder and creator of rsr content creation so he is into media development we should communications and media development after completing our uh, business school activities so these are some of the achievements that i'm sharing with you in addition to that we have so how do we make sure that this uh, relationship again uh, what is it is available or is being maintained without uh, i mean uh, i mean leaving a away from each other is by through networking methods so we have multiple meetings multiple get togethers for any event for any celebration that happens we make sure that we inform each other in the same chapter so these are some of the uh, i mean some of the photos which shows the gathering that has happened before covid and even covid did not stop us if you see these are some of the virtual meetings and to be very clear on the covid or the pandemic situation has brought our relations more better why because we all all knew that the world is suffering so we were ready our alumni were ready they came forward to help in whatever situation they could and the meetings that had happened also was extensive and we had most of that means almost 100 percentage attack i mean attendance in most of the meetings so this is what shows that vitn do not stop at normal we are unique and we make sure that we achieve uh, milestones and we achieve things which cannot be achieved by anybody that is something a uh, very important prior priority and criteria be the bit so these are some of the social activities which is already been conducted by vita during the covid period and these are the various activities okay so now coming to the end as you know there is a continuing relationship between bit and its brand ambassadors so brand ambassadors being alumni and there is also a great unity and friendship among the alumni and the one motto that we follow throughout is once a vitn always a vitn and we sincerely adhere to the objective and watchword which is called as we share and we care this is not mere a word we make sure that this word truly means and that is one of the major aspects of being a vitn and dear freshers as all of you know you are all innovative you are all unique you are all pragmatic and the young mind is what is the best that you have and we will make sure that we will take up the responsibility to develop a great nation this our country india and let's work together with utmost sincerity so we make our country proud our alma mater proud and finally our beloved parents proud so with this i like to stop i end my session so uh, this is regarding alumni so i hope all of you uh, are done with all the technical sessions for your uh, orientation so what we'll be having now is all, as all of you have seen we'll be having the major uh, talent hunt that is coming up after this screen break so this talent hunt as you all know we have already been published and we have already put mails to all of you uh, so this talent hunt starts from 3 pm and then goes till 4:30 so it's very happy to be informing all of you as a part of the organizing committee that we have got overwhelming responses the responses were like beyond i would say i mean we have got a large amount of talent that was been shared in the form of uh, i mean videos the problem here is we have a limited amount of time so here whatever video that is being shown is just Uh, we have picked random videos from different kind of genres for example you will be having two videos from dance genre we can have two videos from uh, music genre we can have other videos from various other genres okay so similarly we have collated and we will be showing only a part of the videos currently and with days we always let you know where the other videos are been put up it can be put up in the website so it's equal weighted so i i heard from many students that they had this feeling whether this is a audition that is happening or whether this is a competition this is nothing this is just an entertainment that we are having because we know that all you freshers are talented with 
with high levels of skills okay so this is just a area or a uh, sm small amount of time where the talents can be showcased but what we have seen is the amount of talent that we have in freshers is not good enough to be put in one and a half hours okay mm -hmm. so because of which so we require your help as well as your uh, understanding also the first 30 minutes that is from 3 to 4:30 we will be uh, showcasing few videos again it is not been subjected to uh, very in the sense uh, to subjected to the marks or anything the uh, i mean the few videos which will be shown is based on their genre we have decided and we have uh, i mean segregated and scrutinized and that is what will be shown and the rest of the videos which is not been uh, telecasted now will be either put it in the website or we will let you know how we are uh, broadcasting that so none of you should be sad that their video is not been broadcasted okay cuz all of them have done it great so from the organizing team we appreciate the fact that within short duration of time our freshers had shown their talent in a much high spirits okay so for that we thank all of you so currently we'll be having uh, so before moving on to the screen break i would like to uh, invite anubhav purushottam so he is somebody that you all of you should know all for four days you might all have worked with vit insider app also our director students professor also had told about the vit insider app and how it was being made and etc etc so we would want to uh, i mean all of you to recognize anubhav because he is our student okay and he is behind he is the mastermind behind the app which is vit insider app so now i'll uh, allow anubhav to speak a few words to all of you with that we'll be winding up the major technical session of our orientation and then we'll have a short screen break and then come back with the talent hunt uh, anubhav uh, good afternoon guys good afternoon to the uh, 7000 vit students who are using the app right now and all the faculties who are present here i would like to first thank vit for giving me the stage to use my like so so case my talent to all the 7000 users i didn't expect that this will go this well uh, also i want to ask like apologies to all the users who have been facing issues with the registration process i did my best with doing it in the last two days updating all those things to get the app to at least working condition um, i have i also want to thank to all the 256 students in the vit official group who have uh, recognized my work and uh, like thanks uh, like they are going to give good reviews in my whatsapp also they are, i want to work with all of you all the 256 members and also get this app in ios also i am like thrilled to see the level of enthusiasm with in the 256 members in that group who have said that who have come forward to say that i want to develop this app i want to make this app much better so i really want to work with you and get this app in ios also and also i have promised that we are going to do a much bigger project together and so so it to vit so so this is all about me so i have a, pro, a camera issue right now so that's why my camera is not seen visible okay thank you anubhav so yes. uh, i think anubhav has addressed why we wanted him to address everybody is uh, like he was a single point of contact we said developer and everybody he was a single point contact and he took the efforts to make sure that uh, we give you a user friendly app there was lot of problems obviously because the app is in the developmental stage but still he could rectify and give all of you a good uh, what to say an interface so that for all uh, what is a passing the informations instructions it was much easier so with this we come to an end of our technical session and uh, we'll be moving ahead with talent hunt uh, in another so you can all so right now we'll log off and then we'll come back by uh, 3:10 so i request all of you to come back at 310 so we'll be having various videos pertaining to our uh, i mean the clubs that is not club sorry uh, pertaining to vit and few of the videos which we would be sharing to all of you and after that we'll start with the fresher videos which you all have uh, mailed us okay thank you meet you all by 310 had conducted uh, uh, i mean ept exam for everybody so because of various uh, technical issues or various uh, i mean important other problems we could not or the students could not attempt the ept so based on the criteria the mail has been sent to the respective student with respect to their uh, permission to attend the ept and the date is scheduled the day is scheduled
on this Saturday and the timing is between 10 to 11 p.m. So please check your uh, VIT email in order to get the credentials and be prepared for the exam and please attend the exam also because we will not be having a next schedule for the same. So complete your EPT exam and all the best for all. With this, the instructions are over. So we will start our uh, informal session. So informal sessions we will be having uh, three videos mainly which will be uh, streamed to all of you the first video will be uh, about our uh, institute vit the second video and the third video will be giving you a glimpse of two major clubs in vit which is music and dance so why the two clubs are only being streamed is because of lack of time and they those are the entertainment clubs or co-curricular club extracurricular clubs so that is the reason so we have almost one or two clubs and all of them are equally potent popular and well as the activities that is conducted by all the clubs are highly appreciated by everybody. So later part of the time, you will be able to get acquainted with more information pertaining to various clubs. So these two, these three videos will be first streamed and after which Quality higher education Cutting edge research World class education Innovative ecosystem Vigorous and vibrant, the hallmarks of VIT Chennai. Established in 2010, VIT Chennai is a green and eco-friendly campus spread over 192 acres of land. Strategically located to meet social, academic and industrial demands, VIT Chennai is cosmopolitan and has students from across India and foreign countries studying under its roof. The Chennai campus has well-planned facilities like academic blocks, students' hostel, auditoriums, gymnasiums, swimming pool, basketball court, health center, food court, supermarket, plush open spaces and outdoor stages. The fully flexible credit system with an ability to choose the pace, course, faculty and time slots. Curriculum for applied learning and project-based learning enhances the higher order thinking skills, experiential learning and problem-based learning. Technology powered classrooms, campus wide usage of Moodle and VTOP for learning management are the salient features. Research and innovation culture is the core of VIT Chennai. Advanced, state-of-the-art laboratories are on par with contemporary standards. Advanced manufacturing lab. Robotics lab. Aerodynamics Lab and the ultra-modern Vallejo Industry-sponsored lab. Geoscience Lab and Environmental Lab. Big Data Analytics Lab and the Network and Research Lab. Anechoic Chamber Optics Research Lab Smart Grid Lab Advanced Electrical Drives Lab Center for Industrial Automation X-ray diffraction, thermal evaporator, RF DC plasma device, language lab, psychometric lab, the moot court.
Russian technology. Central Library VIT believes in sustainability, equity, equality and diversity. The Energy Conservation Facility, Water Conservation and Water Recycling Amenities promote sustainability on the campus. Creating continuous records in placement Building credentials in world rankings, recognized as an institution of eminence by the government of India. VIT is a place to learn and a chance to grow.
respect all those who did their part till today and who will continue to work for a better tomorrow. In the cold, I 
என்று சொல்லாத இடம் கூட குளிர்கின்றது மனம் சூடாத இடம் தேடி அலைகின்றது Very good afternoon to the Chancellor, Pro Vice Chancellor, esteemed faculty members, and my lovely juniors. I am Ruthi Samavedam, the president of the Music Club, and it brings me immense pleasure to introduce to you all one of the oldest clubs in VIT Chennai, the Music Club. So, the Music Club was established about nine to ten years ago, um, and since then we've been having. a wide array of events on campus unfortunately because of covid we had to stay online but the sheer enthusiasm brilliance and dedication that we see from each batch every year is immense and uh, we would really like to thank tanushree ma'am our faculty coordinator uh, you know for for being there throughout for supporting us throughout without her help we couldn't have put this off so uh, coming to um, stuff about the music club um, as i said we been organizing a wide array of events for so many years you know including curtain raiser linkin park tribute um retro night adios vibrance etc uh, um, you know we uh, our music room is located in the ground floor of the academic block two uh, and um, we have a wide variety of genres within the music club we have uh, you know people who are into metal people who are into jazz carnatic punk rock all rock and we you know various kinds of genres and, and in the music room we have a wide array of instruments as well uh, we have our own uh, keyboard we have our own drum set we have our own guitar and we also have a pro level mixer and a console and uh, coming to the achievements um, and accolades by the music club uh, Uh, over the past few years we have participated in many external competitions and events and we have brought many accolades to the college uh, some of which include uh, sarang iit madras um, iit ropar iit indore in iit calicut in iit jalandhar and the list goes on and um, we're very very excited for the new batch uh, you know and to see their enthusiasm to join the music club so we welcome all the juniors a hearty welcome to all of you we can't wait to see you all um, you know come join us and you know we will definitely become a family very very soon so here's a short video uh, to give you an insight into our events and our achievements um, so thank you so much here goes
Yeah, so this is uh, just a glimpse of uh, the 102 clubs that is there in VIT Chennai. Uh, we've just uh, shown you uh, just the two clubs. Uh, in the coming days, you'll be able to uh, communicate and uh, interact with your seniors uh, uh, and they will let you know about all the clubs. And now it's time for the most awaited talent hunt uh, videos. As Anjali ma'am already mentioned, uh, we've, uh, we've now I, I, I should tell you we actually failed okay looking at your overwhelming performances we were planning to just take the best 30 but uh, all the best uh, I think uh, there were close to 613 submissions I think all of them were uh, uh, phenomenal so we don't want to uh, restrict the presentation only to 30 or uh, 40 so uh, we've uh, planned to uh, broadcast it in a platform which will be communicated to you soon. Okay, so all your rocking performances will be broadcasted on a particular pl uh, platform of VIP Chennai. Uh, we will let you know uh, in the mail. Okay, it will be communicated to you through me. All right, so today we've just uh, uh, chosen randomly some videos just for you to enjoy. Okay, so let's go. I'm <laughs> 
producer too. Fortunately, my one song made it to Spotify. Here is the clip of that song. And by the way, Estia is my stage name. And this is my talent. Hope you enjoyed this. Thank <laughs> you. 
കണ്ണാനെ കണ്ണേ കണ്ണാനെ കണ്ണേ എന്നീത് സായവാ പൊന്നാനെ രഞ്ജയെ പൊന്നാനെ കയ്യാൾ പൂപ്പോല നീവവാ നാൻ കാത് നിന്ദ്രേൻ കാലങ്ങൾ തോറും എന്നേക്കും തീരുമാ നാൻ പാർത്ത് നിന്ദ്രേൻ പൊന്നാനം എങ്കും എൻ മിന്നൽ തോന്നുമാ കണ്ണീരാൽ മേഘം തോറും കണ്ണീർ സേറും കർക്കണ്ടായി മാറുമാ ആരാരേ ആരോ 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 ആരാരേ കണ്ണാനെ കണ്ണേ കണ്ണാനെ കണ്ണേ എന്നീത് സായവാ പൊന്നാനെ നെഞ്ചേ പൊന്നാനെ കയ്യാൽ പൂപ്പോലനേവാ അലക്കടലിൻ നടുവേ അലതിടവാ തനിയേ പടകിണവേ ഉണയെ പാത്തേൻ കണ്ണേ പുതിയ മണലിൽ ഇരുന്നേൻ പുതിന്തിടവേ ഇരുന്നേൻ കുരുമകയെ എരിന്തേൻ നീ താ എന്നെ വിന്നോടും മണ്ണോടും വാടും പെരുമനോരം കൺപട്ട് നൂൽ വിട്ട് പോകും എനയേതോമയം കൂടും ഉർച്ചാകം പോതും സാഗത്തോഴും ഇതേവി നാടി കണ്ണാനെ കണ്ണേ കണ്ണാനെ കണ്ണേ എന്നീത് സായവാ പൊന്നാനെ നെഞ്ചേ പൊന്നാനെ കയ്യാൾ പൂപ്പോലനേവാ നീ തോകം ബോധ ഒന്നിട്ടി മീത് മുത്തങ്ങൾ വൈ കാണൂ പോർവൈകൾ പോത്തി പോകാമൽ താഴ്ത്തി നാൻ കാവൽ കാക്കണു എല്ലോരും തൊങ്ങും നേരം നാനും നീയും മൗനത്തിൽ പേശണും ആരാരേ ആരോ 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 ആരാരേ ആരോ കണ്ണാനെ കണ്ണേ കണ്ണാനെ കണ്ണേ
तब जाके कहीं हम सर पे ये केसरी रंग सजाया तो 
तुझको पुकारे तेरी परछाइया दिल का दरिया बही गया भारत बन ही गया खुद को मुझे तू सौंप दे Thank <laughs> you. 
branch i am sharing some of my work over the years hope you enjoy higher education, cutting-edge research, world-class education, innovative ecosystem, vigorous and vibrant, the whole... So, dear freshers, I hope you all enjoyed one and a half hours of power-packed performances from our uh, all, all of you. So, this is just a few glimpses of, uh, I mean... Uh, glimpses of events or glimpses of programs which was being uh, sent to us that we have shared with you. Uh, we have got almost uh, 600 entries further. Uh, 600 entries and uh, according to uh, what Rina Ma'am has said, we will be showcasing all these events in a different platform. So other than those videos which was being streamed today, all other videos will be streamed in a different platform. So how it would be and when it would be, would be informed to all of you via mail. Oh,
Hope all of you are able to hear me. So once again, I shall repeat. Uh, so we have completed our uh, informal session. That was uh, your talent hunt. So we have streamed around 38 performances now. So we have got almost 500 to 600 performances, which will be streamed in the coming days. So when we will be streaming, streaming it and which platform will be streaming it, all the details will be informed to you via mail. And uh, we'll make sure that all the performances which were sent to us will be streamed to all of you. OK, now uh, there are a few more requests that has come from students, whether they can uh, put up the videos or they can send or upload the videos even now. So we are opening the Google link for all of you till tomorrow morning also. So those of you who wish to send your talent to us, please send it so that we'll make sure all your videos will be streamed in, in, in another platform. So the details regarding the platform will be mailed to all of you. So I would also uh, be explaining or I would also be answering few of the queries that we have seen that was commonly occurring. So one of the major query was regarding your, uh, I mean, project report in the sense, the course report. So we were talking about introduction to engineering course and we had requested all of you to write the report based on the induction program that was conducted for four days. So as explained, we do not have a page limit, but the format is already being shown and was displayed during the screen break time. So the same thing in mail also, our uh, Dean Academic Sir has already sent to all the students in your BIT email. Suppose if you have not received also, you can verify with your HOD and or the proctor and you can uh, get the mail once again. So the format is already sent to all of you. So you can kindly follow the format and then start preparing for the report. The deadline is not being decided. So once the deadline is uh, given to all of you, you can submit it then. So this was the uh, questions, few of the questions which was being asked commonly in the forum. The next question regarding when the class will start officially, that is physically, is not yet to be, uh, I mean, we also do not know. We'll keep waiting. Once the uh, I mean pandemic, pandemic situation is under control, we will soon resume the classes physically. So please kindly wait and have been be alert and the, for any notification from VIT with respect to the physical classes. Your virtual classes will start from 13th of September. So I suppose by now all of you might have uh, got your timetable. If not, please check in BTOP. Your timetable would be ready. And regarding the MS Teams classes, the respective or the concerned faculties would prepare the class and then send you either a code or even a link for you to join. So make sure that based on the timetable, you get in touch with the concerned faculty and then be available for the class because all the attendance is very, very important. So from Monday onwards, you're going to officially start with the classes pertaining to first year. And the other common question that had come was uh, regarding your ID cards and all other uh, information. Do not worry. Any information that will be passed from VIT will come through your VIT mail. So keep looking. Make sure you check all the mails on a regular basis. Any instructions, any uh, I mean informations that has to be passed will come through only the email. So with this, your orientation is uh, has come to an end successfully. So all the best for all of you to start your life uh, as a VIT. So all the best to all of you. Take care. Signing off from the organizing committee.